Okay, welcome back to another episode of Build and Banter. We are here in North Livonia working on building up a base next to this beautiful pond. Got the fire going and we're just going to banter on about different topics as we build. I want to give a special shout out to Jonathan, aka ZZP Master, for joining as a Tier 2 member. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want information on memberships or to view the new merch store, just go to smackbrain.com. Okay, for our topic of today, I was thinking about uh, this topic earlier when I was watching a disaster movie. And that got me to thinking, I love disaster movies. And I wanted to know what would be my top five disaster movies. Now, oh, before I get started, here's the wall. I've got a wall there and it started there. So I got to go chop some, uh, I need more wood, need more poles, need more wood. So as we do this top, top, top five disaster movies, I'm going to be chopping some wood. All right. Now, when I say disaster movies, I'm going to eliminate some. Now, remember, this is just my opinion. Everyone has different criteria of what they want. And there are several, several disaster movies. And I was going to do top 10, but I think I'm just going to do top five. All right. I'm going to carry these big logs. So uh, back to what I was saying is I'm not doing uh, disaster movies like, uh, for example, Sharknado. I'm not doing that. And I'm not doing zombie movies or infected movies, even though they are disasters. I'm doing more kind of like natural disaster movies, but you know, fire, earthquake, those type of disaster movies. There are lots of sci-fi movies that you can come with, come up with. Like I was thinking, um, Alfred Hitchcock, the birds, which is kind of a disaster movie, but I'm doing more of kind of natural disasters or, you know, something where, uh, it could not necessarily be a uh, act of nature. It could be man-made that caused the accident. But anyway, with that being said, number five on my list is the tower in inferno 1974 okay the tower in towering inferno if you never heard of that or have seen that it is a disaster movie where the tall i think it was san francisco they built the the skyscraper state-of-the-art building and then uh this this wasn't a natural disaster i think it was a mechanical failure or something in the architecture where the it caused the thing to catch on fire and then of course uh, you have all the stories to the tall building and who was this was this paul newman yes this was paul newman that starred in this one and of course the disaster is all these different levels and as the movie goes on they have to try to escape the fire by getting up or down one level whichever way they're going away from the fire uh and it was a pretty big deal uh, back in the day, or if you watch it on reruns, it's pretty cool. So that, that would be my number five. All right, let's get another tree. I hear a deer. Do y'all hear that deer? I've got fish. You know, fish seems to be healthier than deer steak. So I don't know that I need to kill the deer. I can just go kill the fish. There we go. Lumberjack away. All right. Let's carry this giant thing down the hill like I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. And my number four disaster movie would be 2015. This was released in 2015, San Andreas. Now, San Andreas, I'm not saying that this movie is going to win any Academy Awards. It's with The Rock. It's... um. I think that's another California movie where um, that deer sounded like it was right there. Anyway, it's a California disaster movie. Uh, the Rock is like some kind of rescue medic heli helicopter guy. Uh, and then the San Andreas fault line earthquake like just goes crazy and like the whole world is like destroying. The reason I put that on my list is because it is a good fun what they call popcorn movie. So if you just want to sit back, watch a bunch of disaster, watch the heroes save the day, uh, it's a good movie. And I know I like it because every time I see it, I just leave it. Every time it's on TV, I just leave it on and watch it or have it at least playing in the background. Where'd my other log go? 
All right. So San Andreas, uh, it kind of reminds me a lot of the movie that's called uh, 2012 with John Cusack. Oh, look, there it is. I got three. Yeah, John Cusack did the movie 2012, and that's basically where the world's coming to an end. Uh, San Andreas is kind of like that, um, but it's 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 good, fun entertainment uh, popcorn movie. All right, moving on from that was a uh, five was Tower Inferno, four is San Andreas, number three, 1972, The Poseidon Adventure. Poseidon Adventure. Now. Do not get that confused with the remake because they remade the Poseidon. I think they just called it the Poseidon. Uh, had Kurt Russell in it, the remake. This 72 version has Gene Hackman. And this is where they're out and they have this giant boat and it gets capsized. And then it's basically inverted, floating upside down and sinking. And then as it's sinking, though, there's still air in certain spots. So they're trying to escape to the top, which since the boat is flipped over, they're escaping to the bottom of the boat. They're trying to go up and get to the bottom of the boat. So uh, it's just a fun kind of disaster movie. So if you haven't seen it, I would definitely watch the 70. What is that? What year I say? 72. I would watch the 72 version before you watch the remake with Kurt Russell and whoever else was the star of that one. All right. I might shoot that deer just because I'm getting tired of hearing it. Let's see. How many, let's count how many logs that I have. I definitely need to get, uh, we talked about in the other video I was doing, I need to get a better headset. It will help me figure out the which direction sounds are coming from because I don't think I have a very good headset. All right. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four. And I have one more. That would be, let's just get that one more. That's all we need. For now. Uh, Right, where you at? Where you at, logs? There you are. This is the last big log that I'm going to carry down. All right, so my number two disaster movie would be Titanic, you know, with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, that movie, I think it was 1997. Man, it doesn't seem that long ago, but that's it. Uh, you have to include that because when they made that movie... Oh, my fire went out. When they made that movie, they basically built a, a version, you know, or parts uh, of the Titanic to film that. And then that was a pretty good disaster movie that still holds up to this day. I'm going to get my saw. Do I have my saw? I need to saw some of these. I need to turn some of these into planks. Yeah, so do you like the Titanic movie? I know it's, uh, you know, not historically accurate. It is a kind of a love story that's in there, but it's still a good disaster movie with everything that's going on. All right, let's count how many planks we got real quick. So I've got... Four, so one log makes four. So I have to cut two logs just to get eight, eight planks. Then I gotta come over here. Oh, I had a log over here too. I got three planks. So what I'm gonna have to do is enclose this whole little shed. So that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go around. I spent forever um, earlier trying to get it to get closer, but because of the the roof hangs over. If the post is under the roof, it wouldn't work. So I'm just going to go around and make this thing my base. That way I can keep the little shed area here to store stuff. And then I'll just go around. There's my flag, my Livonia flag. And we'll keep on building away around there. 
and then I'll make me a watchtower and some other stuff. Yeah, I think I'll sit here and do some fishing here in a minute. You know what? I might go hunt for that deer. Let's listen real quick. As soon as I be quiet, it stops making noise. All right. I knew it. See, it, it knew that I was on to it. When I wasn't paying attention to it, it just sat there and made all kinds of noise. And then it sensed that I was getting tired of it. All right. So that's going to be... Um, oh, there, it made noise again. That's my top. Four. Now for number one, disaster movie. This movie is 2012, not the movie 2012 with John Cusack. That is definitely not my top five. Uh, but the movie was made in 2012 and it's called The Impossible. Okay, that movie has uh, Ewan McGregor and I forget the other actress name. The main played the mom, uh, Ni Naomi Watts, I think. Um it's where they were on vacation in Thailand and it had like the tsunami come and it basically washed that whole area out. You really need to watch the impossible because, uh, Oh, you know who else is stars as a little kid, like a, I don't know, 13, 14 year old kid is, uh, the new Spider-Man, you know? So, uh, Tom Holland. So that is definitely a good disaster movie. Uh, and it's more kind of just following that family. There's definitely a lot more that were affected, but you're viewing the movie through their perspective based on a true story, which, uh, of course, Titanic is too. But this one is based on a family that actually went through this and was there, and they wrote the movie uh, off of their story. So I would definitely check out The Impossible. Okay, I'm going to keep building. Uh, that's only the top five, so that's going to be what we're doing uh, for this episode. You can leave in the comments uh, what you think. If you agree with any of my picks, you don't have to list your top five, but just give me, you know, one or two. What disaster movie that you like, that you like to watch over and over? What do you think that's really good? And is there a reason you think it's good? Is it because like the cinematography was great or is the acting great? Or is it just the general story, you know? Or in my case, like San Andreas, I just think it's a fun popcorn movie. So that's why I put it on my list. I'm going to go hunt this deer because I'm getting tired of it. Next time we come back, we might be cooking this deer right here in this fire. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.